so now let's add header to our application to do that we just have to install express 3 sbs so basic idea of express 3 sbs is it has layouts uh, layouts functionalities and file sales functionality so layouts basically uh, are used to handle the layouts files and the files are basically used to handle the constant file which basically doesn't sense all over the applications okay so in the partial file we will be adding like headers footers and something that doesn't change all over the application and the layouts folder layouts folder we are just going to uh, put this layout.sbs file so now let's install it so go to express 3 hbs and just uh, copy this command and type in here uh, as i have already installed in my system so no need to install it again okay now add express 3 hbs to our application to, to Press HBS equals require express three handlebar. Okay, so just delete this one. We don't need this default settings, so we will be using our own setting for express three handlebar. So just set app dot engine equal to HBS then express HBS inside that put one object configuration object then set default layout to parse else so this is the file name of the layout directory so we just have to create one directory called layouts so what and move this one here so what express 3 handlebar does is it just go inside the view directory and search for the layouts file folder and the inside the layouts folder it will search for partial file to render so that's why we have created layouts directory so by default it will search for the layouts directory and inside that it will search for partial so you can name it as whatever you want depending on and it depends on you and just put ex, uh, extension name so extension name we are using dot hbs so as here you can see dot hbs dot hbs now set view engine to hbs now let's run our application go to chrome and open localhost 3000 so it is saying partial oh sorry so this is not a partial this is layout file i have missed out this is layout file okay so as i have said it will search for the layouts directory in inside layouts directly it will search for file name so this is layout i just have missed out so now let's run this again okay now refresh this so as you can see there is no difference between the previous output as we have seen and this output this is rendering exactly same as the previous one so now we will be adding partials so partials in the partial we are we will be adding headers and footers so now let's create a directory called partials and inside partial create one file called header.sbs now search for the header 
just open w3 school i like that so bootstrap 3 tutorial go to w3 school and type nav bar okay now which one is for us so i like this one just grab it paste it here and so how do we include this partial to our application so this is very simple just go to layouts and just type this uh, double curly braces then this bracket and just write the partial name so it is header and close it so it will now show header to our application so i think there is no need to refresh this just go ahead so as you can see header is showing to our application so suppose you are adding headers inside one directory so it will also render uh, like that one so just just you just have to put some directory name slash and header uh, header file name so if you want to add photos say, uh, the steps is similar so you just have to create a direct uh, files here and just add like this so that's it we uh, that is how, how how we are adding header and footer so now delete whatever is not necessary so we are we don't need this one we will be adding sign sign in and login in future but we currently don't need this one okay let's uh, keep it uh, like this but change website name to lms home then add books and something like this depending on the application and features we are uh, we, we will be adding we will change header according to our need in the future so now let's refresh this so as you can see there is some changes in the nav bar there is sign up login button and LM uh, the this is the brand name actually so one thing we are going to do is uh, every, uh, everything inside the uh, the viewport are going to uh, inside a container inside one container so we will be adding container in the layouts directory so this is actually good good step default value container and we will be putting this body inside the container okay so if you refresh this you will see some changes so actually you will see this express as we have moved somewhere uh, right because container has some padding and margin that's why so now this looks some um, this looks fine so in the next video i'm going to uh, create a form and uh, create some routers to add the book data to our database so so see you there thanks for watching